Greetings, Eco Nerdlings. In this podcast, we're going to be talking about water management, dams, reservoirs, and more. So, basically, a dam stream that can capture and store water from rain and melted snow. That's a description of a dam or a reservoir. There are several benefits for dams. First of all, it can give us hydroelectric power, and it provides water to towns. It provides recreation so we can go boating and fishing, and it also helps to control floods downstream. It's not without its problems though. So a lot of times it can reduce the downstream flow. It'll prevent water from reaching the sea, like the Colorado River, which we're constantly taking water out of. And it also devastates fish life and it reduces the biodiversity of the area. So using dams and reservoirs to supply more water. Well, large dams and reservoirs can produce cheap electricity and it also reduces downstream flooding and provides year-round water for irrigating croplands. But they also displace people and they disrupt aquatic ecosystems as well. So looking at some of the benefits and some of the uh, losses that occur whenever we dam water. So first of all, some of the losses or some of the negative effects, we have flooded land that destroys forests or cropland and it can displace people. We can have large losses of water through evaporation we can have downstream cropland and estuaries that are deprived of nutrient-rich silt because it is prevented from flowing out. Uh, we can have a risk of failure of the dam itself, which can cause devastating uh, downstream flooding and all of that. So if the dam has a fault or there's a crack, something like that happens, where you're going to have huge, huge flooding that occurs. And then we also have, uh, as another negative, the migration and spawning of some fish are disrupted as well. So some of the benefits of damming up water are that it provides water for year-round uh, irrigation of cropland. It can provide us drinking water. It can be used as a reservoir that's useful for recreation and fishing so we can go out boating and skiing, things like that. It can produce cheap electricity for hydropower. And the downstream flooding is also reduced. So looking at here, we have our reservoir. This would be the intake of water. Uh, powers the turbine, and then it creates power for our power lines. So this is one of the large case studies that I want to make sure everybody kind of understands and knows about. It's China's Three Gorges Dam. So there's a lot of debate over whether the advantages of the world's largest dam and reservoir will outweigh its disadvantages. So the dam will be two kilometers long, and the electric output will be that of 18 large coal burning or nuclear power plants. It will facilitate ship travel, reducing transportation costs. However, the dam is going to displace 1.2 million people. And the dam is built over a seismic fault that already has small cracks. So meaning if there's any type of earthquake, that dam is going to be damaged. So one of the things that happens is sometimes we actually remove dams because we know that they cause more harm than good in some areas. So some of the dams are being removed for ecological reasons and because they have outlived their usefulness. In 1998, the United States Army Corps of Engineers announced that it would be no longer building large dams and diverting water or causing these projects in the United States. The Federal Energy Regulatory Commission has actually approved the removal of nearly 500 dams. And removing the dams can reestablish ecosystems, but it can also re-release toxins into the environment. Well, I hope your lecture over dams was entertaining. Uh, short but sweet. So if you'd like to rewatch this one or any other video lectures for AP Environmental Science, you can find those at www.nerdlingscience.com. Well, this is the Queen Nerdling signing off for today. Stay nerdy till next time.